In addition to the title page, abstract, and references, research papers in the hard sciences, such as physics, chemistry, biology, and medicine, and most of the social sciences, follow a structure that consists of four basic parts. These are the introduction, methods and materials, results, and discussion sections. This manuscript formatting is the most commonly used by journals and academic bodies, and these parts compose the core of your research paper, indicating to readers where certain types of information can be found, and providing a logical flow that mimics the basic structure of the scientific process. Here you see a diagram and breakdown of the parts of the research paper. As indicated on this diagram, the sections of the paper follow general rules about how information is presented, moving from the general in the introduction to the more specific in the results and methods section, and finally, expanding in the discussion section. In the introduction, the question, why did you do this study, is asked. Next, in the materials and methods, you are asked to answer the question, how did you do this study? In the results, you are requested to insert what you found in the study. And finally, in the discussion section, you will discuss what this means, what are the implications to this area of research. Looking in greater detail, the introduction seeks to answer the question, why did you conduct this study? The objectives are to supply background information to allow readers to evaluate the results of present study without referring to previous publications. You also should explain your reasons for conducting this study. For the content of the introduction, you should include a rationale for the study, brief background about the subject, study objectives, and, if pertinent, a review of the literature. The next section of the research paper is the methods and materials. In this section, you are asked what materials did you use and how did you conduct this study? The purpose of the methods and materials section is to state in clear terms what you used for the study and how exactly you carried it out. For content, you should include study design, study materials, answer the question what was done to the material, and how are the effects measured. The methods and the materials is the leanest part of the research paper as it only focuses on the very specific details of how your study was carried out. In the results section, you're asked to answer the question, what exactly did you find? So here your goal is to show the detailed results of the study in natural order. You should break these into subsections, similar to you do in the methods section, but with a little bit more explanation of these results. For your content, you want to include any key findings of the study, text, tables, and figures that you used, and statistical analysis that you gleaned from the study results. The discussion section is the largest part of your research paper. And in it, you will answer the broad question, what do the results mean? What exactly does this require you to do? Well, your main objective is to explain the overall outcome of the study results on the specific area of study and tell about the wider implications of the research. This means that you will be talking about not only the research for your specific area of study, but if applicable to other research that might be conducted in the future. And therefore, the content will include a restatement of major findings in this area of study, strengths and pitfalls of your study, implications on other future research, any unanswered questions in future research, and a final summary and conclusion. Now, while some models will separate the conclusion from the discussion section, most will say that this is one and the same of the text of your research paper. So the conclusion is basically a final statement. And actually, it leads back to your introduction so the findings that you are looking for in the introduction are shown in your conclusion to the extent that they were found in your study. Please remember to follow the basic IMRD format when composing your research paper unless otherwise instructed. Introduction, materials and methods, results, and discussion. Using the right structure is the first step towards creating a strong manuscript and showing your work as clearly and concisely as possible. For more information and tips on manuscript writing and journal submissions, visit our resource pages at wordvice.com.